a short two and a half hour plane ride from Sydney or Brisbane and you can find yourself in paradise known as Norfolk Island with rolling green hills, soaring pine trees, pristine beaches and a rich history and of course culinary delights to be found around every corner. And fingers crossed I'm going to catch my first fish ever. Yes, I'm on the lookout to find ingredients I need to put the taste of Norfolk Island on a plate. In my case, it's a sunset platter. With a maximum speed limit of 50k an hour or even 30k an hour in some spots, you get to soak up the gorgeous scenery along the way. I find whenever I'm travelling, I always try and head straight to a farmer's market or a local food market because that's where you'll get a sense of community spirit and also be able to buy and taste fabulous food. Love to get a little bit of your produce if I could. This looks great. Yeah. We're doing a bit of a platter just to snack on, so I might roast some beetroot, make some chips. Yeah, sweet potato. There's a couple of different varieties here. I might grab a cauliflower. So, so much of the produce is really grown on the, on the island here. Yeah, the majority, um, and it's all seasonal. By default, it's pretty organic. All of this was picked yesterday. Wow. So it doesn't get much fresher than that. Than absolutely that. not. Awesome. Well, I always think that wherever there's goat's milk, there must be goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. So I do make an artisan goat's cheese, but I've sold out this morning, oh, unfortunately. I'm a bit late. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? We've got a farm out at beautiful Anson Bay, so if you want, you can call out there and I can oh, find you some cheese. That would be beautiful. OK. So after the market wraps up, I've decided to take Emily up on her offer and I'm off to meet some goats at Hilly Goat Farm. Well, hello. Hi, Karen. I'm just in time. Yeah, welcome to the farm. So wonderful. Two little goats. Yeah, we're going to milk them. You want to come in and do some milking? I would love to. All right, let's go. What are their names? Um, this, is, this is Teddy Toggles and this is Pillows. Teddy Toggles and Pillows. So they're ready to go to work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They love it. Yeah, they, they know what fed. to do. How much milk would you yield from each goat? Um, these are two young, um, young does, so they're giving me about three litres of milk per day, per goat. Um, and then my older does, they give me about six litres of milk per day, per goat. So they're doing really well. We turn the milk into cheese the day of milking, so the cheese is really fresh. So yeah, I've got a, um, some draining here today. So once I've turned my um, milk into curds and whey, I then drain the curd in these moulds on the bench top for six hours. And at six hours, I turn it in the mould. Ah, oh, look at that, it's beautiful. So that's what your block of chev will end up looking like. Well, I would love to try some. Yeah, absolutely. I've got some special ones made up for you today. I've got a, one with Norfolk honey and walnuts and um, a couple of other flavours. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> So you will come across these honesty boxes peppered all over Norfolk Island and they're just a great opportunity to pick up some knickknacks. I've got some pickles in here, fresh herbs, eggs, hemp balls, all sorts of goodies. It's going to be fun. glorious bounty I have from Norfolk. This is just so delicious. We've roasted Matt's peppers off and the beetroot. We've got some local yogurt, hummus, sweet potato chips, strawberry guava jelly. And I'm actually going to make a quick pickle from one of Matt's cucumbers by adding the pickle from the honesty box in with all the radish and the vinegar. And then I'm going to put some salt generously over the top and also around a tablespoon of sugar and then quickly stir it through. And what that will do, we'll pickle the cucumber really quickly and it will still have a lovely crunch. I'll just let that sit for a little bit while I grab some of Emily's Hilly Goat, flavoured with Norfolk honey, coated in walnuts. Now the pickle's done. So I like to serve things like a rich cheese or a salami or some bread with something sharp like the pickles. So they always play a major part on a, on a platter like this for me. I think that is a Norfolk feast to die for. A little later, my first time fishing. Beginner's luck or skill. 
fast, Ed, you might want to see how it's done. Oh, my God! <laughs> You're going to fish, Are right? you serious? Yeah.